Hi everyone. Given the function v of t equals 6 sine of 3t is the velocity in meters per second of a particle moving along the x-axis, we're going to determine when the particle is moving left, right, and stopped, uh, find the particle's displacement, find its uh, final position, and the total distance traveled by the particle. So basically for the left, right, we're doing the first part. It's moving right when our velocity is positive. So that means we're going to set, uh, we don't need the 6 here, because that's just going to zero out. So uh, when we have sine of 3t is positive. Again, if you had the 6 there, it would just divide out. So we really don't need that 6. All right. So let's see what that would be. If we have, uh, we want to just set this being zero, um, that's going to happen at um, pi and zero. So at pi and zero, it's going to be, um, if we have 3t equal, let's just do this real quick, uh, zero, 3t equals pi. That's going to give you t equals 0 and t equals pi divided by uh, 3. All right. So basically, it's moving right here between 0 and pi divided by 3. Now, for um, left, that's going to be when uh, sine of 3t is less than 0. And that's going to occur between this interval here. Because sine is uh, negative um, for this part. So that's going to be um, negative. All right. And we can write this as uh, from pi divided by 3 to pi divided by 2. All right. Um, it's stopped when we have, so this is stopped. when sine of 3t equals 0. And that's going to happen what we did here, 0 to pi divided by 3. So we just write t equals 0 or t equals pi divided by 3. All right, so there's that part. Now we have to find the displacement, and all you do is you take your time, 0 to uh, pi divided by 2, and integrate this. So our displacement equals the integral from 0 to pi divided by 2 of 6 sine of 3t dt. So this is going to equal 6. And you integrate this, you're going to have a, it's going to be negative 1 third cosine of 3t. And we're evaluating it from 0 to pi divided by 2. So this is going to give me um, this right here equals negative 2 times cosine of 3 pi divided by 2 um, minus cosine of 3 times 0. Okay, this just equals 0. Um, this equals 1. So we have uh, negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2. Now, if uh, s of 0 is 3, what's the particle's final position? So all you do is you take your final position. We have 3, and we have to add our 2. So that equals 5. Now, to find the total distance, um, you write it as the integral. Let's so write distance equals um, the integral from 0 to pi divided by 2. And you do the absolute value of 6 sine of 3t dt. Now we split this up because this is absolute value. So our, our where it's going right, that's the positive. So you're going to write this as 0 to pi divided by 3. And we have 6 
sine of 3t dt. And then where it was negative, remember this is absolute value, so put plus, and then we're going to go from pi divided by 3 to pi divided by 2, and then you write negative 6 sine of 3t dt. All right, so when you integrate this, you're going to get, um, uh, remember we kind of already did this, so this is going to be negative 2. Uh, cosine of 3t and we're evaluating this from 0 to pi divided by 3 plus and this one's going to be um, negative 2 cosine of 3t and we're evaluating this from pi divided by 3 to pi divided by 2 Let's kind of do this mentally. So we have cosine of uh, pi divided by 3. 3 times that is just pi. So this is just going to be 2. And then we subtract um, uh, negative 2 when you substitute in the 0. Because that's just going to be uh, negative 2 times 1. So this is going to be 4 for this first part. This part, if we do, um, we have our plus. So if you do pi divided by 2, that's just going to give you 0. Or 3 pi divided by 2 is 0. So that's just going to be 0 minus, and then we're going to have a negative 2 for this piece. So that's going to be plus 2, which equals 6. So our total distance is 6. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.